first experience in Nancha was coming to the Minchin School campus. So from the outside, the first impression is like, wow, this school looks really cool. And then once you get inside, you realize that there's so many facilities, they're you know, top class and everything is brand new and technology is integrated a lot. At Space Camp, you're going to be presented with a very big problem. The problem is, our planet is no longer safe for us to live on. Where are we going to go and what are we going to do? My name is Ben. I'm from a small town called Kilrush in County Clare in Ireland. I've been living here in Nansha for about a year now. I currently work here at Minchin School. I'm a middle school science and high school biology teacher. I studied biochemistry in the University of Galway in Ireland. My first position in China was in uh, Baowan district in Shenzhen, where I was a science teacher in uh, primary school, and that was in 2019. Right now I'm working at Minchin Summer School, where I'm working as the academic director. Gravity works by pulling things, right? In this lesson, they are starting to get their jobs and the different roles that they, have part, they will have as part of the project, so they can see how their science and engineering that they learn about, such as space exploration and the designing of rockets. Moving from just um, lecture-style learning to more interactive activities and hands-on learning, we put as many experiments and student-led activities as possible into the courses and it allows students to um, explore their interests and explore science subjects in a different fashion where they're not just listening but they're actively taking part in the learning process. Student called Ben, Mr. Know Everything. This nickname is given by his students. He is very knowledgeable. He is a very nice person, really considerate and willing to help you with everything. He has also got an international vision. Ben is lovely. He pays attention to every student in a gentle and quiet way, including those who are shy. He teaches students in a simple way and make it easier to understand. Here in Nansha, I like to pass my time outdoors quite a lot. Nature aspect of Nansha is really special and it's really unique that even though we have all the facilities that we could need and um, all the conveniences of modern life, it's still so easy to get access to nature. I use rental bikes all the time because I use them so often. I'm interested in nature and especially I like to go kayaking, hiking and cycling. And it's very convenient to do all of these activities here in Nansha because uh, even though it's um, rapidly developing and there's lots of big malls and activities to do. Um, there's also lots of nature around, uh, especially for uh, water-based activities. Chinese food is quite different in Ireland, Irish style of Chinese food, so getting to try real authentic Chinese food was a really cool experience. Bullfrog hot pot is good. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of different dishes that I've tried over the years living here. Hot pot is one of my favorites. Recently I've had some friends visit from Ireland because now people from Ireland can enter visa-free into China they get to see the real China. I got to take them to try some of my favorite dishes and they got to see all of the infrastructure and I quite enjoyed seeing their reaction to how big everything was and all the technology and how convenient life is uh, here in China and in Ansha. My mom is going to come and visit in October. Yeah, during the National Day holiday, she'll come for one week. And I'm gonna take her on a, a trip to see around the Greater Bay Area. Ben enjoys his life in Nansha. Last week, he even invited his friends from the UK to travel to Nansha and Guangzhou. None of his friends had heard of Nansha before. After learning about the development here, they all fell in love with this place. I heard that he would bring his family here in October. I'm happy to see him enjoying the life here. Nansha is attractive, making these international talents stay and enjoy their work and life here. When I first came here to China, and I didn't know how long I was going to stay uh, originally. I thought maybe a year, maybe two years, who knows. And now five years later, I'm still here because I really enjoy my life here in China. There's so many great opportunities, um, especially in education. I feel it's very forward thinking and you know, there's lots of integration of technology and things. So I find being a teacher in China is a really cool experience and a very rewarding experience.